G'day everybody, welcome back to Reactive Gaming with Chris and James and welcome back to the Sons of the Forest. We are going to be here with you today on the ultimate beginner's guide on how to do electricity in Sons of the Forest. James, what shall we do first? I think we should start with the very, very basics. I like the idea of um, deciding where you're going to put your um, your panels. Panels, when, perfect. Yeah, when you're... When you're building the house always allow for that yep so what we do normally when we're building something we're always thinking of where we're going to be hiding the panels now you don't have to hide panels but if you want to you know do a proper build you you want to hide them in my opinion you don't want them on the roof unless you do want them on the roof then you know that this is virtually pointless this part for you i used to do it on the roof all the time they get a little bit tiresome Plus, since they've updated, I think it was like patch 12 or patch 11, something like that. They no longer made the panels lie. Yeah, the exactly. Like lie on the roof. They they sort of they're raised and they don't sort of fit in the right areas. They don't always look so good anymore like they used to. Yeah, they sort of stick out like tits on a bull. Yeah, we'll show you all those options as well. I say we start with the the roof option, the option that probably most new people would be using. Now, if anyone's wondering what we're doing here is we're using um, axle mods in Red Mod Manager. This gives us the ability to fly around and basically do whatever we want without, you know, limitations. And I can't be bothered trying to find a bit of wood. James, we're going to do a couple of panels. So obviously you won't have all this gear if you're just starting off. But once you go around, there's panels everywhere. Three things you're going to need is solar panels, batteries and wiring. We'll start with the solar panels first. So you can very well set them up just like this, if you like. But if you know what I mean, like it's a bit hard to get them straight and lined up nicely. That's not bad considering actually. But what we're gonna do is put them in the roof. Now, if you don't have a a roof that's like this we'll show you the next way and then probably the best way to do it okay so it doesn't matter which orientation you have your solar panels you can have them like this do whatever you want with them james could you put some batteries on that one for us please dude beautiful and they do not need to be exposed the sun believe it or not in this game does not require the use solar of panels. Yeah. solar panels yeah. you could have them in the water you could have them in the dirt in the mud whatever it doesn't make a difference thank god for that because this gives us the ability to hide it yeah what is uh virginia shooting at is there some buddies or something around there yeah like, there's yeah, yeah. This, uh, this area is pretty high by the looks of it with um muddies yep yep so what you want to do once you get all your panels that you want keep in mind uh, when you're doing light bulbs, each panel will power up 10, 10 bulbs. Right. Yeah. 10 bulbs, no more. After that, it'll start to basically die. and You'll see it'll sort of fade in. We'll probably show you soon, actually, if we've got enough um, stuff for good power up. So you got got more batteries put onto it. you got all the cables link linked up. Now what we're going to do is actually run it to, say, one of your, one of your beams here. As you can see, I could walk around freely and the wire will go virtually anywhere I want it to. So what we want to do is connect it to the beam. Try to go directly below it so it doesn't look so obvious. Like so. Now we did a one and a quarter build because we're going to be showing you how to build uh, one and a quarter. So a lot of people, if well, I wouldn't say a lot of people are doing one and a quarter builds, but we do and we find them to be quite challenging sometimes to wire up so let's go and wire this whole thing up here so the way to join this without running another cable down is you're going to run it along that um log there the um the beam and that's it you got those ones out here let's get ourselves a couple of bulbs just gonna lay all them in there for you Turn them on. Another cool thing as well, if you're running Red Mod Manager, 
I'll show you in a second once I get all these lit up. Are they green? They are green. Yep. We're yep, good. Okay. Yeah. Green yep. is good to go. Green is good to go. If you don't see green or anything, then it's not powered. It's not wired up properly. If they're red, that means you don't have enough panels. So you'll notice that. So with Red Mod Manager as well, there's something called Illuminate, which gives you the ability to scroll through the colors, change the color of your lights on your house, which is pretty cool as well. Okay, so we've done that now. You need to disconnect the main cable that goes down to the lights, please. Disconnect. Disconnect. While James is doing that as well, we're going to start showing you the next way. And the, probably my favorite way of doing solar panels, which is underground. Oh, you got to make sure. Why is that not the one to come up? Yeah, yeah there's that one. Oh, got to love that. Underground is probably your best way to do it. You can actually have all your cables running nice and smooth underneath. No one's going to notice it. And you get them running up the walls. That is probably the easiest way to do it. But sometimes you don't have the option to put it into the roof there. So we run them down here. Actually, we're going to run it up here. And then you run it up the wall. Now, this is where the one and a quarter build comes into play. And it's going to be a bit tricky sometimes. You didn't disconnect it either, dude. You didn't take out the cable. Hang on. Let me see if I can just grab it from here. Uh, I uh, yanked it from the roof. Just pull all the panels, all the wiring off all the panels, please, for me. Yep. That'll be the cool. easiest way. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, we're going up a quarter. From here, you need to... Oh. There's that sound. That's the sound you don't want to hear. <laughs> That's the sound when you have too many bulbs and not enough panels. There we go. We have no power. Just sound like a nuclear power station shutting down for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get it from where you ran this cable up, up to the top of that there. Okay. That'll get you connected between the quarters. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a quarter. It could be a half. It could be a full. Uh, not a full, but yeah, a three quarter even. We're going to lay a couple of panels down here. This is the good part about it. You don't have to... They don't even have to be visible. You can just yeah. run them along there. That'll do. We'll get some cables. We'll join them up. You'll see, basically, they'll kind of snap in. They'll lock in to what you need to do. Then we're going to join it to this bottom one here. And then we have power again. As long as you do that quarter bit there properly, you're not going to have an issue. Let's get some batteries on here as well. And you, you may not see the uh, thing for it when you're in the dirt, but if you just place it, it'll pretty much guarantee to be on it. All right, let's lay this back up. And we'll move over to the next thing. All righty, we're going to move on to some spotlights. So these ones can be sometimes a little bit tricky to do, especially when you don't have it wired up correctly. We're just going to put a couple outside. Now, each of these spotlights will take... So it's two two spotlights to one panel. So it's, I think it's equivalent to like eight bulbs. So you might be good with two, but as soon as you add a third, you're pretty much, um, pretty much screwed, I think. This is so hard to angle, especially if you want them going down a smidge. That'll do. Okay, let's quickly fill that in. Beautiful. Okay, so we got to make sure there's actually power going along here first things first. So we got nothing there, we got nothing there, but we got power going up there. Alrighty, let's connect that up and let's run it along this part here. So what we got to do now, because we are one and a quarter, we got to join it again. So, oh no, that's already joined because we connected it to that part there. So this is the fun part. So you, you'll find it where it sort of snaps on there. And all you got to do is just connect it to the bottom part. Just there. And that's on. That's actually, that was really, really easy. Let's do that again. Let's connect it there. Beautiful. And they're on. They're your spotlights. They can be tricky. It really depends on your build. We only built a very, very basic cabin so everyone can kind of see 
how easy it can be. It's and I don't know why, but a lot of people get discouraged, eh, James? Yeah, they do. They do. A lot of people get discouraged with lights, and they are really good. They give you a different tone. The yeah. the the fire sort of um, what are they called? Um, the, the lamps. The, sorry, the uh, torches. Torches. That's the one I'm looking for. The torches look great. They give a nice yellow glow, especially if you've got a good stone building. They look great. Yeah. Yeah. But these ones, I like to use them when I'm doing things like weapons rooms or things like that. They require a little bit more of a white light. Yeah. So that's your and spotlights. Next thing the electricity is really, really good for is electric fences. What we're going to do is we're going to get up a few little sticks and we're going to build a little perimeter, say around here. If you haven't done electric fences before, it's as simple as just sticking a stick in the ground. But we're going to do it right here. And it'll give you the right length automatically to do a fence. And these are quite effective, especially if you've got some um, spikes behind it. Yeah. So all you do now is just snap on a few more. What are you doing? <laughs> Yep, I know what you're doing. You were reinforcing it. Yep. You have like that without putting the rocks there. You essentially will knock it over. Or a cannibal. Yeah. Like, look at that. Already gone. Just by jumping over it. Yeah. So you put some stones around it, and we're going to get some electricity around that in a second. So we're going to do that again, like so. And I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but they are quite effective. Oh, don't you hate that, eh? I really do. What we should do is try to find a little... Because we were going to test this out in a second with some actual cannibals. Yeah. We're going to... We're just going to put some little sticks behind it. This will give you... Oh, it's, come on. There we go. Obviously, you probably do them a lot closer, so you've got a better chance of um, cannibals actually getting hit by it. You can just snap them down. We're going to put some rocks around them as well. Snap. Cool. Now, we've got to run power to them. But first, before you do that, let's quickly go and get some of the electricity on them. They're making that Ooh, noise. There you go. They're making that noise because there's nothing connected to them yet. All right, so we're going to be running our power from the ground again. So what I need to do is tear up some of this stuff. Now, you could actually literally just run it from here if you really wanted to. And then you'll you'll wire it up. You don't need to run it through the roof or nothing like that. Oh, damn. Thank God for God mode. Yeah. That's another option. You, it doesn't have to be pretty. It could be just effective. If you don't want to run it through the ground or nothing like that, that's probably the easiest way to do it. There it is. Oh, there it is. All right. We got to run some power to you. Do you just want me to connect? I, for some reason, Once. cannot. Um, yeah, would you please? Yeah. Reconnect those ones up top. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Go for it. Let's go up and follow James. I'm just going to use my fly mode quickly. Make it easier. So, bang. <laughs> Virginia just shot a muddy. Yeah. What's wrong? Oh, there you go. There you go. You got it. I'll just, and I'll just put it on the house. Cool. Yeah. So, we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to probably run it from an easier point, which is. Alrighty. So, we tore up on those, some of those. Planks, so we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to run it down here. So we also got to join this up. So you can do this from the inside or the outside. It doesn't really make a difference. We're just going to snap it. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it's going to work. We're going to run it along the ground. So from here, we need to sort of join it up to there. Connect those ones under. And we got to just tear up these ones here now. That should do, actually. That should be connected. So once we got them connected, we're just going to run one straight up to that. And that should, in theory, be connected unless I didn't connect it properly there. Hang on a second. Let me just test it. 
Uh, nope, that's not connected. Nope. Okay. This is where one and a quarter, where we get drops, get a little bit tricky. So that's all connected there. That's connected up there. Troubleshooting is always the fun part. Actually, you know what we should have done? Because we already know the... We already know that's connected. So let's connect yep. it straight to the um, light. So we know that it's on. You connect it straight to the light. Nope. Still nothing. Okay, so the problem is going to be down here. The way this was connected. Alright, let's try this again. Didn't hear the power-ups. Oh, ah. there we go. Okay. <laughs> it worked. So, ah. so sometimes you just got to make sure they're connected properly. If you connect it too close, like say there... It's not going to connect because you have to connect it from the yellow wire. Which is all the way over. But for some reason, yeah, if you try to do it too close, it just doesn't want to work. That's all connected now. Uh, just leave them up for a second, please, because we might yep. need to still connect them. Actually, let's just tear up all these real quick. And we're going to put some full logs on here. These all need to come up. So what we're going to do is basically little street lights. Yep. All right, so we need a full log. Oh yeah, just so everyone knows, we are using creative mode. That way it gives you all of this and you don't have to worry about animations or any of that fun stuff. Ow. Damn electric fence. Okay, and then we just need a half log after this. It's a shame you can't do it with, um, like half logs. Yeah. Yeah, that'd it. be really good because they're just too long, aren't too they? Too long a little bit, but what you could do is you could actually turn them into a platform. Beautiful. And we're going to get our wiring out again. So now we already know these are connected here. So this could pretty much go straight up. Straight up through there. But we're going to make sure all of these are connected. All along. The Ow. That damn electric fence. Is it working? Yep. Hang on. We've got to make sure this connects through here. Uh, I just took the log out by accident. Okay, so we're going to make sure these are all done. And we could join all these up. Now, I hope we're going to have enough solar panels for this. Green. 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 Cool. You know they're good when they're green. Cool. Smash out the rest. Yep. And we're going to check this place out at night time in a second. See how we look. Still got the lights on in here. Good. Lovely. Perfect. Let's see how we're going so far at night. Plenty of light, especially with those big spotlights. Love those things. Especially when you're in the darkness. Now look at it. Yeah. Nicely uh, yeah. lit up. What's wrong? The spikes work. The spikes work. <laughs> so did the electric fence. Yeah. Yeah. I, I much prefer doing the electric fences like this. It's just a lot easier. There's no unsightly cables. So if you're running, say, electric fence, it doesn't have to be around here, but we're going to be um, running the fence all the way out here. All you do is just run a log all the way out to so keep it on grid. And then you can run, you know, your electric fence along that. It works out nice and easy. We just did it here because it's nice and close. But that's essentially it. Nothing to it. Electric fences and lighting and all that sort of stuff, wiring up, it's really, really simple. Hopefully everyone has learned something from it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave us some comments down below. Other than that, thank you for watching. If you could please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below, that'll be awesome. We'll see you on the next one.
bye. Bye.